Hey, what's up YouTube? Back with another video for you. Uh, so today I'm going to test and see if I can switch out my gateway computer uh, with another one. Uh, I don't know if anything special needs to happen, if it has to be reprogrammed or anything, uh, but I have two cars here that are completely working. So I have my RAV4 here and then where is it? Over there by the road. I have uh, my other RAV4, uh, my third RAV4 that I'm just going to take this gateway out and I'm going to swap it with that one uh, and vice versa just to see if anything happens. Um, one of my buddies in the uh, RAV4 forum named John said, hey, you should make a video out of this. And uh, yeah, that's a good idea. So here I am. Uh, I've really wondered this myself a lot. And another one of my friends, David, is always saying that uh, parts need to be uh, f like reflashed or reprogrammed when they're putting put into another part or another car. So I'm really curious to see what happens with this too. I got my huge, yeah, my huge hat because it is unfortunately stupid cold again. Um, I posted on my Facebook saying I was still ready for some more snow, maybe like another storm or something. And we had two storms since. And actually here comes another salt truck uh, back out there. Anyways, um, so I'm done with snow and cold at this point. Right now it is three degrees and it's not even windy. Uh, so this kind of sucks. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos because uh, I think it's aging me prematurely being out in this cold so much. But here we go. I, will, uh, I have a little tripod. So I'm gonna set this up in my car and uh, see how we can do this. <laughs> All right, here we are. I'm using the tripod here for the first time. Um, I'm, it's not too stable of a surface, so sorry if it wiggles and moves around a little bit. Um, right here is my USB dongle. Uh, it's a car loop. They call it a photon, and you can look it up online, but that's how I get my data from the car uh, wirelessly to my uh, tablet. So I'm going to pull that out to start with, just wiggle it out and pull it, and you can just see that's how I label it RAV4. And it's, it's pretty neat. So you can check that out online. Uh, there, in order to install those or any uh, OSB2 device, you do have to modify this plug. And I've never made a video on it. Uh, maybe I should. It's, it's pretty simple, but basically there's a little piece of, of plastic in the middle of this thing that prevents this from sliding in. It's just basically a T that goes across here. And you have to cut that open with a rotary tool with a disc just cut it and uh, allow that to piece to slide in and then you also have to add power because this plug here does not have any power at all um, not sure why they do that I mean they must have a powered handheld device or the cord that they slide in there is powered and uh, they don't need power here but in order to get any data off this that's how that's how I do it and as you can imagine, just like pretty much every uh, foreign or Japanese product car, it's good old 10 millimeter and there's three bolts. There's one up here and two behind this. So these are gonna be kind of hard to get to. So that's why I'll need this. And I've never done this before, but um, here we go. I'll give it a try. Actually, before I try this, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna unplug this and that uh, those two harnesses, let it sit for a minute and then uh, reconnect them and see if any warning lights come up on my car because, yeah, I'm not charging or anything. Everything's off. Yeah, so, I mean, no, there's no warning lights. The car works fine right now, so it'd be good to know. Before I ruin two cars, it'd be good to know if this affects anything. So, uh, that one's hard to get to. There we go. All right, so those two are unplugged. Um, I'll just let it sit for just a couple minutes and see if anything happens. All right, nothing weird happened. I just tested it. No warning lights or um, anything. You never know with these RAV4s. I mean, sometimes they can be a little finicky and get some warning lights and stuff like that. But just plugged it in. God, that one's a hard one to get to. There we go, 
Jeez. Well, I want to use a, a tool for that one, just kind of a, a poker, something to get at that. Um, all right, and I added my little monitor over here because I got to watch for Caleb to wake up. Just went down a little while ago. Um, so now I'm going to take this out, and uh, I'll probably speed this up and see how it goes. All right, just like that, it's out. Uh, just a few minutes, it's really not so bad. And I'll swap this out and see how it goes. All right, I'm here in my other car. Unfortunately, the wind is picking up and we're out here in my yard because I have it outside for sale. And I'm gonna pull this one apart. Oh, and I didn't bring a tool to pull this thing out. Really hard to get to. There we go. All right, here we go again. All right, there we go. Uh, the plastic on this one had a lot less give, uh, so that made it harder. The one down here is definitely the hardest to get to, uh, but here we are. Here's the other gateway. So now I'll take this over and install it into uh, my main car, the my car that I use all the time. All right, before I try this, I thought I'd show you that these are in fact different. So, sorry, man, it's freaking cold. This sucks. <laughs> So the one here is the one out of the uh, car I just pulled it from. It's a 2013 uh, RAV4 EV. This one is out of my current car right that we're at right now. It's a 2014 RAV4 EV. So this one, you can see in the part number. So it is this number right here. It is a revision D. A D is the last uh, letter in that number. And this one is a revision C. So they're both the same part, but uh, this one is an older revision, so they made some kind of changes uh, for the second one here that I have. So I'm gonna be installing the older one in the newer car. Uh, we'll see if there's anything different. All right, so I don't need to mount the whole thing. All I'm gonna do is put it here in place and connect it and then I'll start the car and see what happens all right there we go now we'll go over and start the car actually let me close the back door otherwise we'll get a warning for that all right moment of truth Car went into ready. Uh oh, got an exclamation check EV system. All right, unfortunately in the middle of filming, of course I get a phone call and I'm using my main phone that I use for myself and my business. And uh, so yeah, so we're back at it. I'm just uh, cycling the car on and off and to see if the code clears. Not worried yet. There, it went away. So that was only counting three or four cycles. It worked and it cleared that code. So right now I have the uh, different revision, uh, different part number, and from a totally different car, totally unflashed or reflashed in my newest car, and it's working just fine. So I'm sure I could drive and back up and turn around, but I'm not gonna go through all that. Uh, but yeah, this just shows that you can replace your gateway computer with a different one without reflashing it or anything special. And it really doesn't take too long. 
And so my friend David's theory of everything having to be reflashed is busted. Sorry, David, but uh, it's busted. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like this content, if you... Yeah, if you're into this kind of stuff. Uh, see you guys later. Uh, addendum here. Of course, I just got this disconnected and ready to go swap them back. And my little dude woke up. So uh, there he is. I guess I'll have to wait to put this back together until... Yeah, he, he my wife gets home and uh, she takes over. <laughs> All right. Uh, see you guys for real this time. All right. So he just got up. <laughs> He's usually cranky after his second nap, but I just wanted to give you a quick update on how everything went. He actually went back down after that last video, so he slept for another I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and I was able to get both of the gateways back into the cars. And uh, as you saw, I had to restart each car. Well, you saw one. Uh, the second one, I also had to do, re do the restart process and uh, restart it five times. And they're both working, so all done, everything is good, and both cars are working with no errors at all, and the gateways are mounted and done. Yay. All done. <laughs>